Hey guys, welcome back to Kaiser Test RC. And looky, looky what we have here. We have a Traxxas Max right behind me. Now we're not downstairs in my laboratory because it's full of junk down there. I've got too many projects on the go. So we're gonna do the unboxing of the Traxxas Max right here. I've been dying to take this thing out for a bit. I can't wait any longer. So let's take a look at it. This is going to be an express unboxing guys. 4S power self rating, clipless body system, max strength, one tenth scale, all-terrain tires, aluminum shocks, brushless motor with fan, 16 volts 4S uh, ESC, max duty drivetrain, X-Max servo, uh, efficient uh, drivetrain with cush drive, and we have the uh, plastic chassis that won't bend like a bleep arma. Oops, max duty drive shafts. And we also have Traxxas Link enabled. Yeah, that's it. So, let's flip it over and let's get her unboxed. All right guys, so we are running the DXF Skytech 7000 milliamp hour 60C 4S LiPo. Um, I don't have anything else in 4S that will fit this. And I was a little worried that this wasn't gonna fit, but it looks like it does. Yeah, it's in. It's really cold today too, it's below zero. So, uh, Let's see how the plastics on Traxxas hold up. I'm gonna do the same thing with it that I did to my uh, Arma. So let's turn this on. First time I ever powered this up, so. There it is. Let's see if we've got power to the wheels. We do. Uh, see how she wheelies. Not bad. Looks like it's got some spunk, guys. This body's not gonna look this good for long, that's for sure. I know this thing does about 50 miles an hour. Whoa! The brakes work well. <laughs> she ain't new anymore. I gotta turn those brakes down a bit or ease onto them. That was pretty crazy. Pretty fast. Yeah, there goes the body. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get it into the park before I destroy it out on the street here. How's the body look? Still okay. Yeah, the roof sliders. Roof sliders took a little bit of scuffing. That's it. Okay. Let's get back over there, grab the ramp, get into the park. Thank you. 
back, I think that's a problem area because there's not a lot of support and you land on the back and that's where it breaks. So overall, I'd say it's a good truck, pretty durable. It does flip a lot more than the, uh, than the granite, I have to say. All right, so not a bad vehicle. Pretty happy with it overall. Um, it is pretty darn expensive compared to the granite. Is it uh, almost double the price better? I don't know if I would say that. The granite goes pretty darn fast. This is quick too. If you can afford a little bit more, if you want to get this, but then you have a vehicle that tips a little bit more as well. Then you have to spend more money to get the wide uh, max kit where you could just get the granite, uh, buy cheaper batteries, 3S, go just about as fast, I think it does about 40 something, 46 miles an hour. The parts are cheap and plentiful, just like Traxxas. So I don't like one brand or the other guys. What can I say? It's a good truck. Grab yourself one if you want one. If you're a Traxxas fan, this is a very good truck. It's tough. I did break a few parts. I didn't break anything on the granite. So you make your own decisions on there uh, based on that. And I jumped that thing just as hard and it was colder out. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of Kaiser Test RC. Make sure to like and subscribe if you wanna see more content and we'll see you out there on the next one. Take care guys.